The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. E Production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Reels Puppet in the game. Today, we're taking a closer look at the benefits of using multiple limiters in the mixing stage. Now, Ableton's grouping system creates a very easy mix sum spot for you to put plugins to process an entire collection of channels at once. So I've taken my song, I'm on a Cloud, and grouped all the channels up into drums, synths, and vocals. And I've then taken the drums and synths group and combined them into a new group called instrumental. So my entire song is consolidated down into two mix sums. And then down here on the master channel, I dropped a Slate FGX, which is a great mastering plugin. And I have my default setting loaded up here. These are just my favorite settings and I hit the save button. So it saved them as the default so that every time I open it up, it gives me my favorite settings. So now let's take a listen to our song just running straight into a limiter. Still the same read, but I'm popping now. Realist in the game, I hold it down. Pushing these packs cause they like the sound. And I ain't selling now. No, I ain't selling now. Yeah, yeah. The only processing I have on any group so far is here on the synths group. It's getting sidechain compressed to some of the important elements in the beat, the 808, the clap, and the vocal. So as the synths play, you Build can the see. Same read, but I'm popping now. Realist in the game. So let's go up here onto our instrumentals group and let's drop a limiter. One of my favorite limiters to put on beats, and this is one of the benefits of having multiple limiters, is the FabFilter Pro L2. Not every limiter sounds the best on every source material. I find that certain ones have strengths. So let's drop this onto our instrumental group and play our song again. Still the same read, but I'm popping now. Realist in the game, let's just turn it off. Pushing these packs cause they like the sound. Wow, and big difference. Now. No, I ain't selling now. Yeah, yeah. As you could hear, even though everything is at zeros on the input and output gain, we're still making quite a big difference in our mix. Let's try increasing this one and decreasing this minus one and see what happens. Still the same read, but I'm popping now. Realist in the game, I hold it down. And without it. Pushing these packs cause they like the sound. And I ain't selling now. No, I ain't selling now. Yeah, yeah. And why you hating? I be stacking moolah. The signal after the limiter is getting combined with the vocals, so there are a couple of peaks for the final limiter to control, but compared to having the entire drum kit smashing this thing and then the synths and the vocals on top of each other to then further smash this thing, you could see that using multiple limiters to spread the workload across allows you to use them all in a much more subtle and transparent way. Are your beats too respectful? Do your sounds sound a little weak sauce? Maybe you just need some disrespect. Introducing Disrespect Sauce, the ultimate mixing preset for hot distortion and loudness effects. Disrespect Sauce is available for waves and stock plugins only at holoops.com. Let's say you didn't want to do something quite as transparent and you wanted to add some straight up knock to these drums. Well, before the limiter here on the drums group, we can add a compressor that's going to add a whole lot of meat to this drum group. So let's pull up the glue. I prefer these settings right here just a little bit on everything. When I'm doing my drums, I like using a high ratio and turning this peak clip on. Now let's take a listen to our song with the glue on the drums group going into the fab filter and then going into our final limiter. Still the same read, but I'm popping now. Realist in the game, I hold it down. Turn the glue off. Pushing these packs cause they like the sound. And I ain't selling now. No, I ain't selling hey. now. Yeah, yeah. And why you hating? I be stacking moolah. Now it's 
take a look at the fab filter. We're not even hitting it that hard. That's the magic of this trick right here. We're not even hitting the fab filter that hard, even though we are smashing this plugin. And it really says a lot for whatever's going on here. I'm not really sure what happened when Ableton took the plugin and made it their own because what this plugin does is magic. And I find what the Ableton version does is the opposite. But man, Cytomic glue on your drums group like this and definitely include the 808 in your drums group. Still the same read, but I'm popping now. Now this is not completely limiting our drums. Little red lights will come on after this, but that's okay because it's going into a limiter here on our instrumental group, but only getting a slight dynamic squeeze and then going into the slate FGX, which is really meant for squeezing a whole bunch of channels together at once. That's what mastering plugins are for. And another thing that I like to do to glue everything together, and this is something that I would still use an aux channel for instead of using a group, is doing a bit of mix glue on everything but the 808. So I'm gonna insert a return track. And on this, I'm gonna put the CLA 76. And in section, instead of the all ratio, we're just gonna do four to one. And then let's turn the volume down really low, like minus 25. Still the same read. And now let's send a few things to it. Let's send our vocals to it. And instead of sending the whole beat, or the whole drums group, I'm actually gonna go in and highlight all these individual channels because I wanna compress the mix minus 808. Maybe let's do only full blast on the vocals and then do minus five on everything else because I want the vocals to really dominate the signal going into this parallel compressor. Let's take a listen to a new part of our song too. Yeah, and this game crazy, do not know who to trust. I said meditate and turn it off. Well, there you have it. The magic of using multiple limiters together to get some really sneaky loudness into your mix without even hitting the meters that hard. I hope you found all the tips and tricks in this tutorial useful, and I'll catch you guys next time with another video. Peace out.